Namaste. It's Jewel from Goddess Creative and it's been a really, really long time. I know, a very long time I've been away. I wanted to confirm that I'm now back healthier again <laughs> um, with this video and I thank you for all your inquiries because I know many of you have inquired and wondered what was going on with me and why I'm dropped off. <laughs> the YouTube space, the YouTube world, um, mainly because I was so sick. I got unfortunately COVID three times this year, uh, starting at New Year when they first opened up our borders. I got COVID and um, then I got the Omicron one and then I got it again. And also for my birthday in April, I got shingles. So yeah, I, I, I've been sick for the majority of this year, trying to get back on top of my health. I am back on top of my health now because of all the supplements I've been taking and also because of the rifing I've been doing and the meta therapy that I've been doing as well. So, um, yeah, um, <laughs> I have um, the Spooky to Rife, which I think I've talked about before. So I've been doing rifing that's helped get rid of the virus for me. Um, this doesn't affect the video, but um, for me it's helped certain um, systems in my body regulate again. So I've used it for that. I um, might talk more about that later, but also the meta therapy where you can actually look inside your body and you can see exactly what organs are being affected and send energy. So meta therapy works with quantum energy. If any of you have watched my videos, Previously, you know that I'm into alternative health. I'm an alternative health practitioner. I'm a holistic, um, a holistic soul regression, quantum energy healer practitioner, um, holistic coach, right? Have been for over 20 years and um, very much into spirituality and I kind of think in a way this all attacked my system and this happened as a big learning curve for me. So it was a big learning curve because I learned so much from the experience. It wasn't fun. Um, sometimes I couldn't even get out of bed and function, but I learned so much in the process. I learned about myself. I learned about managing my energy more because I was not managing my energy enough and giving and I, and I had given away. Um, and, and my energy to a certain extent and that was done because I worried about stuff. Because I am a, I'm, I am a warrior. I am, um, I mean a, a worry person, not a warrior, strong person, but yeah, I'm, to an extent I'd like to see myself as a, as a warrior or a fighter, but um, I do worry about stuff and I was worried about my family and there's certain stuff that was going on in the world at the time last year. So um, just like all of us were worrying, um, yes, 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 yes. I'm just having my morning coffee. I wanted to give you a little update and share about my life now. As I said, I'm stronger. I wasn't strong, but I am stronger now thanks to all these alternative, and honestly, I used everything alternative to get my strength back. And I, um, and I believe that I am now. I'm still, um, having a bit of a stress at the moment, um, but I'm keeping it in check. And the reason why I'm having a stress at the moment is because I'm renovating a villa. Yes. And if anybody is not aware, one of the most stressful things you can have in your life is to move house. 
let alone move countries, which is what I've done. Because when I posted and, and um, checked in in New Year, I think I did a Happy New Year video, I was still living in Australia. Um, I've now just relocated and moved my whole life, meaning I've done it again. Because <laughs> I did this in 2019. I sold everything in 2019 and I moved to Vietnam and I was living in Vietnam and then in January 2020 when I went back to my apartment in Vietnam, um, COVID had broke out. I'm not allowed to say that word but that's the situation. Um, then I came to Bali and I was waiting it out in Bali for the borders to close, which they did and then I went back to my home in Australia. So I, um, 2020, I originally started posting to you uh, a lot and giving information regarding cryptocurrency and um, how the boom was gonna happen and it did happen. And then um, in 2021, I knew when and I gave warning to you when the market and everything was gonna, the shit was gonna hit the fan and I didn't listen to my own information and that was October 2021. I was giving warning to everyone there that they should get out, that something was gonna happen. I didn't heed my own warning because I was moving house again. Um, I moved house and was preparing to move house um, out of property that I bought into a rental property um, and that was in October, November of 2021. I didn't listen to my own information and cash out of my crypto. Yes. So, um, life seems to get in the way for me and I seem to have moved six times in the last two years and that's been a lot of stress. That's another reason. Um, I just want to feel settled. So what I've done is I've come to Bali, I've shifted my whole life and moved to Bali. And I'm settling here in Bali, uh, making a home here. Hence the reason why I'm renovating a villa. Um, I'm not gonna give you a walkthrough today, uh, what that entails, but yes, um, I bought a mess <laughs> and I'm renovating it. And I don't know if any of you have renovated in Bali before or experienced that. Um, it is quite a shock to the senses. This place will be beautiful when I finally finish, but it is a shock to your senses in the respect that it's so hot and it's the heat, but also everything's done on Bali time. And um, the quality is not there unless you're constantly here and watching it. This renovation started um, when I was still in Australia. I only arrived here on Tuesday. It was Tuesday just gone. I arrived in Bali to what was promised a complete finished renovation, which it's not. I don't know if you can see. but all the paint is peeling. See, all the paint is peeling and chipping. But um, yeah, it is a work in progress. It's definitely a work in progress. It is a reno, it's been a renovator. But, um, I'm, yeah, I'm getting there. Um, when I first arrived on Tuesday, I had no hot water. I had no lights in this living room here that I just showed you, the ceiling that's peeling. Um, I did have lights in my bedroom and air conditioning, which was great. Now, as of yesterday, I've got lights here and I've also got air conditioning in the living room. I have put in bifold doors and a bifold door for the doors across. Uh, a lot of uh, living rooms in Bali 
have their um, living space open and it, they just close off the bedrooms, that's how they do it. But I really wanted to close off the whole living space so I could utilise it more uh, because of the heat. And I, I, I'm obviously used to a more of a Western comfort. Um, so yes, that's what I'm currently doing. Um, whilst I was sick in Australia, uh, basically my whole focus was, you know, concentrating on getting better and wellness, but I did also write a book. So I've written this book. It's a little, it's only a little um, guidebook, workbook, but I'll talk more about this, but you can get it on Amazon, but it is a little guidebook. The main focus of the book is to help people balance on all their plans, right? So, if you understand uh, spirituality and you understand, understand yourself as a spiritual being, you will know that you are not just a physical. You are not just physical. You you live on the you live on the physical plane, but we also have the mental, and we we also can live on the mental plane, and we also have an emotional. We live on the emotional plane and also a spiritual, and we can live on the spiritual plane as well. But this book is gives information about balancing all your planes because some people are more focused on the physical, some people are more focused in the mental, or some people can be more focused or heavily balanced in the emotional. Generally, most people, with the general average, are only just realizing what the spiritual plane is. Um, but this book teaches how to balance on all your planes. Uh, so that's what, they, and it's a workbook, and it teaches you tips and tools of how to do it. And then it's got little notes in the back here, like checklists to do. Yeah, so I'll, 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 I will post a link to that, but I will, in another video, uh, talk a little bit more in depth about that. But I just really wanted to say hello again, and it's to the beautiful souls, absolutely beautiful souls. I feel so guilty that you've messaged me, you've put messages on my YouTube videos, you've put, you've sent me emails and I haven't replied. I just couldn't um, find the energy to focus anywhere else when I was unwell. Because as I said, at some, step, some days I could not even lift my head off the pillow. Um, I'm so much stronger now. My, my energy went into doing, like, and to do these metatherapy treatments, it required energy. I had to do it myself. That required muster, mustering up and clearing energy to actually do it. Um, so some days that's all the energy I could do was muster up to do an, a, the, the quantum energy healing of metatherapy on myself. And then, go and lie down and take a break. <laughs> That's all I could do. Um, but it's worked and I'm feeling so much stronger. I'm uh, strong enough to be able to travel. I wasn't able to travel before, so obviously I could travel. got here this week. And um, yeah, I'm just pacing myself. I want this reno to be done. I'm hoping it's going to be finished in about a week. And then I will be able to do a video and show you what it looks like. I can also, yeah, talk to you about this, uh, give you, share you information about this Renault. Um, if you're interested or, you know, what, what it's like to invest in Bali, yeah. I mean, this will be my home, but I mean, I have a girlfriend that's got, I think she's got like four villas here that she Airbnb's out. Um, it's not hard to do. And it is, it's a good business. I won't be doing that here. This is going to be my home, and I'm, you know, I've got a three bedroom, and so that my family can come and stay and visit. Because as you know, I've got daughters. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. I wanted to tell you, yeah, I am feeling stronger. My website is still alive and relevant. I will take new readings for cryptocurrency, right? Um, there will be a there will be a waiting though. Um, there'll be a, like a two week turnaround on them because 
obviously I'm hoping this is going to be finished, this, this, this living room space will be finished in the next couple of days. I'm really hoping that I'm going to be out of here and finish with that ceiling. Um, and then the focus will be on my garden. Um, but yeah, you can hear the filtering of my pool. I've got a beautiful little pool area. I will show you more <laughs> in the next few days, but I hope to be able to start posting more videos. Um, yeah, cryptocurrency, it's, it's as, as a lot of the psychics and intuitives have said, it's very hard to predict timing. You know, I was saying it was all going to go up. It will go back up. Um, just the when bit. The when bit is the, you know, um, nobody, you know, expected that things happen, wars happen and stuff happens and they want to collapse the system, all that happens, you know. I've sort of seen it coming, but, you know, the timing on everything and how it affects each individual altcoin can be problematic. And that is the part if, um, you may be interested to find out more about. Um, I hope that when my life is sorted and I'm no longer sick and I live in a peaceful surroundings where I feel supported, um, I will come back and I will be able to post more videos regarding um, a little bit about crypto for just the channel but my main focus of this channel of course is never has been just fully cryptocurrency it is spirituality and helping people evolve the soul and move and find find a wholeness on all levels that's always been my priority not not just what's happening happening economically um, regarding cryptocurrency so yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, I wanted to post and say hello and um, reassure you that I'm still here and I hope to be coming back a little bit more regularly. I really do have my health under control, finally, for the very first time. And um, yes, I'm in the wonderful land, the land of the gods, which is Bali, and I hope to be able to post much more from here. Okay, namaste.